What's up guys, welcome to your 43rd Java tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be building the rest of our program and I'm going to be teaching you guys about something called composition. Now what composition means is that it means that a class, and this is the one we're going to be building today, instead of just variables and methods, it can also have references to other objects for other classes. And it could, uh, well, I'll show you guys what it means. So go ahead in our tune class. Again, in the last tutorial, we, we built this pot pie class. In our tune class, just clear everything out. And we're going to have two um, members for now. Go ahead and type private string. And this is a new one, name. And that's going to be used just to store my name or something. And we're going to also have a reference to another class, the pot pie class. So go ahead and type private pot pie and type birthday since this program is just going to output my name and the birthday but it's going to do it in a cool way so now that we have two members of this class right here we have a new name variable and we have a reference to a pot pie object or uh, object so let's go ahead and well let's use it so the first thing we want to do is build our constructor so this class is named tuna so we have to name our method tuna and that's constructor what this constructor is going to take is two arguments it's going to first take that string variable that we have and we'll just name it the name so we don't forget and we also want a reference to our pot pie date object so let's go ahead and put pot pie and let's go ahead and write the date or you can write the birthday or something like that and now in the body of our constructor let's just go ahead and set name uh, set it equal to the name and let's go ahead and set birthday that we declared up here and set it equal to the date so now we are in sync we are good to go but what we want to do now is go ahead and make another two string method so let's go ahead and put public string to string and just like we did in the pot pie class in this um, method it's going to take no arguments and for the body we want to return a string of course so string format and for a format I don't really like when it fills it in for you you know, I want to do the work myself. And in our format, just go put uh, my name is percent %s. And that's going to fill in your name. And then let's go ahead and put my birthday is percent %s. And here's where it's kind of tricky. Name, birthday. So now, if you guys can understand the next thing I'm about to say, you'll understand um, the next thing I'm about to say. Huh, sounds easy enough, but you'll understand the key concept of this tutorial. So now, whenever we call, whenever we need a string representation of this, what we're going to do is this. It's going to return my name is, and it's going to look right here to see what it wants to fill in for name. Well, the name was up here. And it's going to be whatever we gave it, passed it in. But for birthday, there isn't a really string named birthday. Birthday is just a reference to the date object. And again, what this means, since it's a reference to an object and not a string, anytime it needs a string from an object, it's going to say, all right, anytime you need a string, and I'm only an object, I'm not a string, maybe I can help you out. Well, I'll go to my class and I'll go to the to string method and then I can give you the information that you need. So when I put percent %s right here, you don't necessarily need to pass in a string object or excuse me, a string variable. What you can do is pass in an object instead and whenever it looks in that class, it implies through via the to string method that this is the string you're looking for. So again, you can do two things when you're using this. You can either pass in a regular string, which is just like a bunch of letters, or you can pass in an object, 
and whenever you do pass in an object it looks in that class and it looks to the two string method of that class so that's two different ways when you're using the print format that you can do that so now that we got a two string method which is pretty much the string representation of an object in the tuna class and we got a string representation of an object in the pot pie class I think we're ready to build some actual objects now put them to use so go over in your main uh, Bucky or I don't know whatever you named it and let's go ahead and build some more objects one more to be exact so now that we already built one from pot pie we probably don't even need that anymore but we'll keep it up for good looks uh, what we want to do is build one for tuna so tuna tuna ooh got the hiccups tuna object Make sure I typed everything right. I got the hiccup in between there. And new tuna. And now we need to pass in two variables. Again, this is going to take two parameters. Because look, our constructor takes two parameters. It takes a name and it takes an object. So for the name, let's go ahead and pass in Greg. And for the object, let's go ahead and pass in pot object that we just built right here. So, in order to see what parameters it takes, look in your tuna constructor, and you can see it takes a string, and it takes an object. Well, our string is Greg, that's my real name, and our object is pa object, and we just build it up here. Now everyone knows my real name. Oh, great. So now, let's go ahead and just output what we did. So, system out print line and let's go ahead and just write tuna object but we have to spell it right and we better change that to Bucky for good looks and now uh, let's see I should be good to go so let me run this see how many errors I got and then I'll talk you through one last time what we did it says my name is Bucky birthday 456 you got it so in the first line in line number three we built a constructor in the second line we built a tuna object well I guess we built objects in both lines but here's what it did you already you guys already know what this one did from last tutorial and for the tuna object when we built it in the um, constructor we passed in two arguments my name in this object right here it took the name and set it equal to name and it took the object and set it equal to birthday and then it says alright just return it in a string format well my name is Bucky easy enough my birthday is this object and it says alright how am I going to turn an object into a string well anytime I want to turn an object into a string I just go to that class and go to the two string method so again I'm going to repeat it anytime you want to turn an object into a string it looks to that class in the two string method so that is your quick tutorial on what the two string method is and also um, again like I said this is called composition and that's referring to objects um, let me show you guys that's referring to objects in other classes as members so this was composition right here so thank you guys for watching let's see how much time I got oh just in time so thank you guys for watching uh, make sure to check out my next tutorial. Get out of my White House. And uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel because, you know, it's the best channel ever. So I'll see you later.